Welcome to our lecture online. And now finally, we're going to find the equivalent resistance for R3 in the Y circuit so we can do the delta to Y conversion, giving us all three resistors in the Y circuit. So to do that here on the left side, we're going to add these two together and subtract this one. So on the left side, we end up with R2 plus R3 plus R1 plus R3 and subtract from that R1 and R2. And on the right side, we have to add these two together and subtract this one. So we end up with RA times RC plus RB times RC plus add those together. So we have RA, RB plus RB, RC. And then finally, we're going to subtract the top portion. So minus R A R B minus R A times R C and the whole thing on the right side is divided by the common denominator of R A plus R B plus R C. So on the left side, what cancels out? We have an R1 and negative R1, so they cancel. We have an R2 and a negative R2, so they cancel. So we're left with three times R3 on the left side. On the right side, we have, let's see, RAB minus RAB, so they'll cancel. We have a minus RAC and a plus RAC, so those cancel. So we're left with an RBC plus an RBC, that's two RBRC divided by the sum of RA plus RB plus RC. And finally, when, oh, wait a minute, that's not a three, that should be a two, because there's only two of them not three of them, so 2R3 equals 2RBRC divided by that. And then we divide both sides by 2, and that means that we end up with R3 being equal to RBRC divided by the sum of RA, RB, and RC added together like this. So here's the third conversion. And that gives us the value for all three resistors in the Y circuit, R1, R2, and R3, in terms of RA, RB, and RC. And this is a really nice trick to be able to converge from a delta to a Y, otherwise it may be very difficult to solve the circuit. And that's how it's done.